this third video of the series, I'll go through the actual menu system on the right hand corner. This is called the large slide out and normally you would need to switch that on. So on your settings page, you click on settings and you go down to large slide out, bigger slide out on and you can also lock it so it doesn't disappear always. So you can lock the bigger slide out that it stays where it should be. That's called pin slide out in mix mode on and I've got pin slide out in OGS effects off right now in this section. So if we go through the slide out, we have view groups and mute groups and you can name those now. You've got the mute effects button, the tap tempo button. We have master effects, subgroups page, VCA masters, OGS masters and the home button, which means you can always go back to your main mixer by just clicking this button here. So if I go to my effects masters, well, that'll have my effects master groups quite straightforward. Subgroups, these are all the subgroups that I've made up for this demo and that they're on the online demo as well. The auxiliary masters and matrix masters as well and VCA masters. Now VCAs are quite nice, so when you assign them you can have the spill button there and by clicking the spill button it'll open up all the channels that are assigned to that actual VCA so you can see all the contributions to that VCA you can close that and that'll give you back into the VCA masters if you're in a view group. The way to assign them, the easiest way to assign these things are probably in the meters section here. Up top here you've got mute groups it will just click and hold, touch what you need, assign to the groups that you need and name them. It's very straightforward. View groups, same way, subgroups and VCA groups. The, this is the easiest place where you should actually assign them. It's quite quick. You can do it individually on a channel by selecting the bottom tab here and hold, click and hold. And here, as you can see, I've assigned it to subgroup one and VCA one. If I go to the view groups, if I look at my main view group that I've selected, I've assigned a main group here where I have the main vocal, I've got the keyboards left and right, I've got the reverb return, and then I've got the drums, the rest of the band, and the rest of the vocals all on VCAs. So it's very easy to mix it that way then. And if I want to see what's on the band, I can spill that out. I've got the percussion and guitar there, and I can spill out the vo other vocals. Got all, them, all of the vocals together, but I still have I can have individual control of the main vocal here. And then you have in one page a very simple setup of, of a complete mix in the Vox section. I have the extra effects there that I use on vocals and the rest of the main vocal. And that's as a custom layer that I made up there. We have brass and band, sometimes I want to adjust that separately. But you normally would be in the one page, which makes it very, very easy to utilize the software this way. As you can see again on the top right hand corner here, we have the little chink, which that means if I click and hold, that'll take me to the programming page for those view groups specifically. And if I need to adjust any other groups, I can adjust them here right away. Clicking out will take me back to here. Some uh, small got you. You might be in mute groups right here and you want to go to the main mixer and, and you forget that you're actually in a view group and you don't know how to go back to the main mixer. Two ways of doing it. Remember that sometimes you're in view groups and you can see that that's what happens. You sometimes forget you're in a view group. The other way is you have now the home button to take you back to the home and then your view group will be turned off. That happens quite often when you forget that you're on a view group and you go to another page and you don't remember that. Up here we have three sections as well. So these are the banks. This will take you quickly between different banks on the software and it automatically calculates the size of the bank by the size of your screen. So I have 11 channels basically. So it'll jump by, let's see, exactly that, okay? So whatever's seen on your screen, that's how much it'll jump. If you have a screen that shows 16 or a screen that shows 8, it'll jump by that amount. And that obviously is the start of the mixer and the end of the mixer.